So let's uh, let, let's pause on that piece, Bailey, because I, I feel like there's a, a huge opportunity there that maybe doesn't get talked about enough. What do you mean when you say you have an insurance company renting your three bedroom, two bath? Is there a, a board that you posted on that it's just insurance companies looking for? Is the insurance company using it for their employees? Like what is their use for? Just kind of walk us through the entire process. Yeah. So the most simple form of this is let's just say, you know, family in town, their house catches on fire, or maybe they have, they have a huge flood, their pipes burst. And they need to renovate that maybe a tree falls on it because that's what actually happened for this one. So a tree fell in this person's house. So they needed to essentially rebuild their house. So they go to their insurance company and say, hey, insurance company, you know, we don't want to pay for this house, you know, to be rebuilt. So that's part of their home homeowner's insurance. Another piece of their homeowner's insurance is if a catastrophic event like a tree fall in, whatever, all that happens, the insurance company will pay for that family to live somewhere somewhere else while their house is being fixed up. So that's what I mean by insurance company. That was the that was the situation with this property. So just to clarify, issue happens at someone's primary residence. Insurance company then covers the cost for them to live somewhere else while they're repairing the primary residence. And these people are renting from you and then allowing these families to move in. Exactly. So uh, again, million dollar question here, Bailey, is how the heck are you finding these insurance companies to build these relationships with? Yeah. So the number one biggest thing that's way overlooked when it comes to the insurance piece is not about like who's the special person to, you know, to finding them because like we've gotten several bookings literally straight through Airbnb for eight to $10,000 per month from insurance companies. So it, there, there are some pieces of it that's important and you can be active with it. But the biggest thing out of it all is your property needs to be available for these families. So if you put yourself in these family shoes, they're not planning for the fire, the flood, the tree to fall in their house, right? So it let's just say that happens to somebody knock on wood today, right? Like, unfortunately, you know, we live in a big country. It's going to happen to someone somewhere, unfortunately. So they need a place to stay ASAP. And they need a place to stay for at least three months, depending on what happens, maybe even longer. So if you go on Airbnb and you type in, you know, a pr stay for starting tomorrow, let's just say for three months, there's not a lot of properties that are going to pop up because what a lot of hosts do is they, they take these small little weekend bookings a month in advance, two months in advance, maybe a week long booking three months in advance. So their properties aren't even available. Let's just say someone only has two days booked in the next three months. Well, too bad because you're not going to, your property is not available for this family. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but the way to get these bookings is first to have an empty and open calendar. And it sounds kind of scary mm -hmm. and like, whoa, you don't want an empty calendar. But truthfully yeah. speaking, that is like the main hack to actually getting these bookings.